so that people all right what's up everybody this is Dal Stone here and today uh, it's probably gonna be a short stream and we're going to tackle um, a couple little small things because I have very limited time but I do want to create some content and continue moving forward with the Super NES um, console so today we're gonna tackle uh, this little switch right so that's what we're gonna do today um, so yeah so that's what that's what we're, that's what we're gonna tackle uh, so how do we um, get this kind of shape right so there's lots of different ways you can do this you can do this with uh, um, booleans right you can do this with um, adding just tons and tons of uh, polys um, uh, edge loops and stuff like that and then just kind of massage it I'm gonna show you how I would tackle it and pers honestly I had to think about this a few times because I was kind of uh, debating on how I would show this um, so yeah so I'm gonna show you how I would do it I'm going to take a sphere okay and let me just take a sphere and let's just isolate it I'm gonna turn off um, x-ray mode which is up here I'm just gonna move this into the X grid. I'm gonna turn this into maybe six. Six is a little bit low. Let's go eight. Eight. I'm trying to look at because eight gives us a pretty decent circle if I subdivide it. Um, is eight good enough? That's the question for me here. Is eight good enough? feel like it's decent but maybe we need that extra yeah let's do that I like that I like 10 what would 11 give me something weird obviously because it's an odd number um, so let's go 10 let's go 10 okay um, mm, 10 gives me this really weird thing too though let's go 12 okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, go to my side view. I'm going to isolate it as well. I'm going to take off half of this. Okay, so that now we have that. I'm also going to take the faces now. I'm going to select all the faces. I'm going to hold shift, go to face normals. I'm going to reverse normals so that now it's looking like that. I'm going to go to my front view, isolate, isolate it. And I probably, like, it's not that deep of a dip. So I probably only need like that, maybe, right? Um, maybe even less, let me see. If I just take off maybe something like this, that's probably as deep as the button or the switch goes. So that's all I'm gonna do, okay? And then I'm going to take, I'm gonna select all of these and I'm actually going to um, extract these faces extract faces so now it's like its own separate face so I'm gonna center pivot I'm gonna put the pivot actually over, over there um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my top view while well, here car like doing skids and stuff like that outside pretty crazy and then um, I'm just gonna line some of this up and obviously these are a tad bit big Right, so I'm just gonna go try and line that up as best as I can, and then I'm just going to move it into place here. Um, I feel like everything is kind of in its way, so I'm just going to hide these for now so I can just get a better view of it. There you go. So now we have that and that. Now we're gonna combine it. And then we're just gonna bridge them together. I might be able to just take these edges here and just bridge it. There we go. Whoa, okay, no. So something went wrong, something went wrong, something went wrong. Undo, 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 undo. Oh, that's why. Center pivot square is not matching. So let's move there, align it together. Now combine them. So now that they're on the same 
leveling field. Their pivots are the same. I'm just gonna click on that edge, click on this edge, which means it's gonna continue right there. Now let's go back to this. Let's hide everything else so that we can see this. Verts, slide this over. Okay, there we go. So now we have kind of like the button. Let's move this. Um, let's unhide these now because I need to see these. Let's hover it over the button. Okay, I'm just going to center pivot, delete history on it, hover over it just like that. And then I'm going to isolate selection. I'm going to select the edges. I'm going to extrude. And then I'm going to click on this little, actually, I can probably just go like this. Thickness, no, offset, no, okay. So I'm just gonna click on the circle, click on the um, square, click on the middle square, and I'm just gonna extrude, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of fan it out like that. So now we kind of have that going on, okay? And then I'm gonna go F8. To go to object mode again, I'm going to go back to the top view and I'm going to hide everything else again so it's nice and easy here for me to see. And then I'm just going to take this outer edge and we are going to... Now, what do I want to do? Because if I... Yeah, it should be okay. It should be okay. Let's, let's try it. So I'm going to... Um, move this right into the corner where I want it and then I'm going to move this I'm going to line it by vertical uh, V for ver vertex ver vertices snap and then I'm just going to middle mouse click on the vertice that I want there you go so now everything kind of lines up together um, and then this one I'm going to put it right inside the center Gonna bring this down. Now I'm gonna line everything up here. This is gonna line up here. There we go. So we're good. This one, I'm gonna line it up to the corner. Gotta line it up to the to this one. This one's the one that's not lining up. There we go. This one. And we're just gonna keep lining things up until it's perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so now we have this perfect little button, right? I mean, I should, probably shouldn't call it perfect, but... So now we have this whole outer edge. I'm going to select it. I'm just going to extrude it. Put it down to the middle. There we have it. And I'm just going to... Um, what's that called? I'm just going to select the faces inside here and then the, I'm gonna grow the selection okay so the grow selection you can go selection I believe or it's grow selection um, grow right uh, for me I just use the hockey uh, shift and the um, period button okay and then that kind of grows your selection um, that didn't work the way that I wanted it to to be honest What did I want to do? I'm trying to think about what the, what, what the whole point of that was. Oh, I wanted to um, smoothen the edges. So I'm so hold on. Let me, let me redo that. I need to select these. I'm gonna press Tab to just drag select, right? Just like that. Now I'm gonna go selection. I'm gonna go to two edges. Um, or oh, sorry, I'm gonna go two edges, contained edges, so that it doesn't select the outside ones and then I'm going to shift right click soften edges and that way you get this nice little soft edge okay just like that select this I'm gonna bring it down oh sorry I'm gonna unhide everything else again unhide I'm going to now move the switch move the switch so what happens if I delete the old switches now so if I delete the old switches I get that okay 
Um, so obviously I need to bring this down more like that. And I need to bring this a tad bit up because right now it's okay. Selecting the switch, and isolate it again. Um, this time I'm going to use my tab again to just quickly select pieces. Um, we're going to grow the selection again, and this time we're going to scale it. And I'm going to change the pivot down here, or sorry, change the pivot up to the top, and just scale up to the Y. This way we kind of have it pushing upwards just because we want it to go above this rail, right? But that still didn't really, that helped it a bit, but not enough. Oh, sorry. Gonna, if this happens, you just gotta reapply Lambert one. Um, so it's still kind of being pushed up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and push this up a little bit to see, no, that's way too much. Like that's not how high it should be. So I'm just going to select it, fix it again grow selection um, bring the the pivot point up a bit more I'm actually gonna unisolate so I can actually see and then that will probably be good just like that okay there we go I don't like how my selection right now because the camera is so close it just keeps selecting the wrong things it's really annoying but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to isolate. Bring this down a little bit more. And then I'm actually going to close this off so that uh, we don't get any problems with light leaks and stuff like that. So we're just going to bridge. I can probably just um, select here, double click here, select here, double click here, bridge. And no, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Um, actually, yeah, we can do that. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to multi cut. And we're just going to select, oh, doesn't like that, eh? Doesn't like that. Hmm. Okay, multi-cut um, along this ledge. Okay, and right now it looks um, like not correct. And we'll fix that. Here. Um, two vertices. We're gonna turn off, it looks like there's, um, hold on, is it, that's why. It needs to be on, turn off, uh, retain, yeah, you have to turn off retain component spacing that's in the tool settings. If you double click this, it'll pop up. Once you remove that, it'll allow you to snap. Um, I also noticed that these are not merged, so I'm just gonna merge those. I'm gonna select these four faces, or vertices here, snap them to there. Uh, going to merge, merge, and we're gonna merge that one as well. Um, now this, from what I saw, did not look like it was completely aligned. So I'm just gonna align these. I'm actually gonna move this one up more. There we go. See, now it's perfectly aligned. All right. <clears throat> So now we have like that little switch there, right? Um, and then obviously now we want to mirror that over. So I'm just going to um, turn on wireframe so we can see the center line. I'm going to move the pivot point. So D to uh, change uh, center pivot. X for grid, uh, gonna be moving the X axis, put it right into the middle. So middle mouse click right inside the middle here. Um, and then I'm gonna shift or is there a mirror option here? There isn't a mirror option here. So you just hold shift, right click, mirror, go to mirror options, X. So right now we're, this is X positive because this is where the arrow is pointing. You want to go X negative and then you mirror it. Okay, so there's some stuff going on, some weirdness going on there. So we got to fix that. Okay, so let me isolate that. Okay, so undo. I'm going to move this. I'm going to undo that. So there's some weirdness going on. I need to fix that. 
So let's just make sure all the vertices are all uh, merged. Oh, sorry. Nope, that's wrong to do. Uh, merge vertices. So yeah, so there was a vertice that was not merged and that caused that issue, I hope. So we're gonna do that again, mirror, mirror options, make sure it's on negative, mirror, there we go. So there you have it, okay? So now you have this going on. Um, now, let's go back one more step because last week I kind of showed you how to use the face weighted normals. So if I want this to look nice and smooth and stuff, I'm gonna go face weighted normals, which is a plugin that I mentioned last week, AMT Normal Tools LT1, I believe it's free, this one. Try it out, it's really, really cool. Um, so I'm gonna just move this a little bit more like that. Um, so there we go. See, so now it kind of adds to that little smoothness to it. So it's either that or I can um, go high poly on it, All right? So what I can do here is I might, oh, it's acting weird. It's my selection. Okay, there we go. Um, for this, I can probably just, hmm, <laughs> so this might not work with that tool. We'll see, we'll, we'll keep it as is for now. We will mirror it. If it doesn't work, then I'll show you how I, how I would do it with sub Ds. But for now, it looks not bad. All right, all right, let's check out chat. No one's in chat, that's cool, that's cool. Less <clears throat> for me to have to worry about. Um, all right, so let's just quickly save this. And all right, so that's gonna be one video. Okay, so we can 